I'm all on, I'm all up and down. I'm looking all up and down my, my channel. Hey like, man, didn't I do a video on the WDX G1 D48? And I can't find it nowhere. <laughs> I, I know I'm, I'm, I'm losing my mind. I said, I know I did the, the unboxing this stuff. So I'm sitting there looking at it in my room. I said, why well, does nobody down come to find out I ain't even did the video? Pull my glass, baby. You know what? That right there. You know what you mean? So I said, so anyway, here. Back to y'all. Back to y'all. Y'all know. Stay focused, man. Stay focused. Topic at hand. Topic on hand is the DB Drive G1. So, I'm going to do the unboxing. Now, hey, these subwoofers are going crazy. DB Drive has really a back, man. That's all I would tell you. DB Drive is back. Get on the boat. So, let's do this unboxing with G1. Uh, look at the phone. This is the entry. No, nah, this, yeah, this is the entry level. Eight. You got the G1, then the G2, then the G5, which is the flagship. As far as the 8-inch subwoofer. And I think it's on the line, too. But here we go. We got a 2-inch BSAV. Now, all oh, that's funny. All of them get this BX, black aluminum. Uh, I don't forgot what the SV, SV stands for. Whether you get the 2-inch the on the G1, 2.5 on the G2, and the 2.5 on the G5. Non-pressed paper comb. No LFS. Uh, double stitch clean the sound too. A lot of people I like the non press paper cone rather than the small. I like the non press. Uh, double stitch around dual poly, uh, spiders, die cast, vented uh, aluminum basket, you know, the gasket ring. They gasket ring on the it works even though they don't give you all the holes. Large gauge compression terminals and the protective. Magnetic cover. I don't know why they put that on that magnetic protective. Protective from what? Now, what, what the hell? What are you protecting it from? It's in the box. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen to the magnet? P protective magnet cover. Is you should call it what it is? Decorative magnet cover to help hold the heat on the bag on the sub. That's all it is. It's done. Nothing. It, it looks good, I guess. So, open it up. Boom. Get this piece of cardboard. Out here, you get your warranty card. Bam. Uh, you get the instruction manual, which gives you the TS parameters again. Oh, and you get this sticker. So the thief will know exactly what subs you have inside your vehicle. Helps him with his reselling, so you can automatically know I'm going to take this. I know what's in there. It's worth breaking into. I can steal it and get off of it that much faster. Don't put the stick on the car. Uh, Get your manual. The G1s come in G5, 8, 10, 12, and 15. So you get the whole line except for they, they don't have 18 in the G1. Uh, you get your parameters on the, when you open up the book. The deal small parameters this is what I use to design my enclosures. Uh, let's see, what we got here. The BL is 10, it's average. MMS 150, it's BL 80. One way X max is 12.5. Uh, FS uh, 55, remember FS will drop as it plays. QTS, this is definitely geared for porting enclosure, 0.675. Uh, not very high vascularity. Uh, I don't know to, I don't, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know how to read that number, the CMS. But the suspension, 3.5. So we're looking at like 0.2 liters or something like that. Let me see. That's liters times point. I can't do it in my head. I'm not even gonna lie to you. So it gives you that. You got it. You get a two inch coil on the eight. You get a 1.5 on the six and a half. A two inch on the eight, and you get three inch coils on the G1 series, 10, 12s, and 15s. Three inch coils. Nice, right? Nice, right? Okay. Take that off. You see your boy. Mm. Moderate health to it. Boy, I swear like I feel like I did this already. 
don't know what I need to do. I know about trash it. Get some plastic. Alright, there we go. Now, and we get a look at the G1. I like how they put linear or mirror image spiders on the entry level, their mid grade, and their high end. So the G1 comes with linear space spiders. Uh, nice. Obviously, progressive roll. Yes. Nice glue in the triple joint. Your tensile leaves are. Uh, look like maybe 12 gauge, 12, 14 gauge, sold into the, sold into the, the top spider, press down terminals that accept um, 10 gauge. Yeah, uh, this might just be a single slug motor. Very, I like the basket. Ain't that new? That's a new basket, dude. I don't know who else uses this basket, but it's nice. Very solidly constructed. And then you got your decorative magnet boot. You got your vented. It's two inch coil. It's vented. Nice. The winding is ooh. One they say twelve and a half millimeters. This is this 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 is overhung design. Overhung design and the windings. I'm looking at the windings. The windings are at least half an inch above the gap. Open design, so you're gonna get plenty of venting. I mean, I can reach my hand, I can reach my pinky in there and actually touch the voice coil. Uh, it's copper voice coil. No, black, no, this is black and aluminum, ain't it? Yeah, big black, black alumina ASV, so. Mm. The former is oh, the the voice core former that goes around. It's vented. It's got holes in it. Uh, a non-pressed paper cone. I like the sound. The bass is more natural. That non-pressed paper cone. I like that. There we get to the front. WDX logo. This is much better than what they had at first. DB drive. Double stitch. Carbon, yep, carbon fiber dust cap. I wonder why they didn't put that on. I mean, that's what you want to talk about. Carbon fiber dust cap, nice, high surround. I wish you know what I wish. They, no, I'm not even going to say that. Nice mountain gasket. And it, ooh. I'm forever dropping the phone. Man. It is a nice subwoofer. How you like that? I got like that, y'all. Very nice, very solid constructed. Nice looking boy. It is rated at the mountain depth is five and three three five and mm, three eighths. Deep and what is the man? Does it tell you? Oh, here we go 600 watts, 600 watts, not normal, normal, nominal, it's on this power, and 1200 watts max peak performance. All right, so, so 600 RMS, and it it looked to me like it'll do every bit 600 watts. It's funny, it says two inch voice cord, look how thick the, 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 the venting on this. <laughs> Is thicker than it is on the G5. You can't stick your finger in the G5. Yeah. I mean, you know what? Let me sh let me show you the difference. I'm, I'm gonna do another video. We're gonna show the difference between. Let me put the G5 and the G1 in. All right, but this is the unboxing on the G1. I hope you like what you see. There you go. All right.